Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. Please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. Pick up what does resonate with you and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate, all right? Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel, okay? Okay, listen. <sighs> I channeled this song for y'all okay I channeled this yesterday I was supposed to put this out yesterday but I got tired let me see um uh, yeah let's just get into the song Okay, so the song that I channeled yesterday is by Redbone, and the song is called Come and Get Your Love, and the part that I was hearing was, come and get your love, come and get your love, all right? See, well, I looked it up, all right, and the lyrics say, um, come and get your love, and then the first verse says, um, hail, hail. Child, I don't know. It says, what's the, what's the matter with your head, y'all? What's the matter with your mind and your sign? Nothing the matter with your head. Baby, find it. Come on, find it. Hail with it, baby, because you're fine and you're mine and you look so divine. So there's someone here that feels like you're divine. They don't understand why you won't accept their love. Someone's like saying like come to me come get your love it's over here <laughs> that's what i'm getting from that song so there's someone here that could be trying to manifest you to come to them because i don't know they want you i guess okay this could be someone who's obsessed as hell um with you because I do have two cards that are on my table from yesterday, okay, which is the card that says obsessed and 3 a.m. So you guys could be waking up at 3 a.m., okay, or maybe that's when you're falling asleep. Is that 3 a.m.? Or there's someone here who's doing spell work and sending it to you at 3 a.m., okay, Pro most likely at their 3 a.m., or your 3 a.m. I hope that makes sense. They could be in different time zones than you. All right. Whoever this person is, um, they could be trying to astral travel into your room at night. You could um, sense their presence. Okay. Or if you're sensing a presence, it could be this person. All right. Um, this will be confirmation for somebody. I also feel like there's someone here that feels like you're ex, um, you're exceeding someone's expectations of what they thought you were capable of or that they thought you are or were. Uh, let's see. I also was picking up something about sea moss. Someone here needs to start taking sea moss. Okay, there's something here about your health that is very um, that needs to that needs attention. Okay, so something here about sea moss. Um, something here about someone's testosterone. I can't talk. Yes, I can. Someone's testosterone levels. Okay, is significant. This, I, I could be talking to a man. Okay, don't have to be though. But something about sea moss. Something about spirulina. Something here about um, what's it called? Wormwood. All right. Ooh, we got south node. Somebody wants you to remember them, or someone here wants you to remember the good times that you shared with them. This could be somebody that you were um, connected to when you were in your south node, or somebody you were like, uh, either friendship, business, family member, um, romantic partner, um, that you were connected with, or you knew when you were in your south node. Someone wants you to remember those times, or remember the good times with them. Like, this could be somebody coming back from your past that wants you to reconsider um, a judgment that you've called on them or a decision that you made when it came to your guys's relationship or 
blase blase okay they want you to they want you to turn back turn around <laughs> all right i also feel like someone wants to convince you that something is not for you okay but i feel like this is a gosh dang lie I'm also getting something about sugar. Someone needs to take a sugar detox. Especially if you're experiencing like a lot of bloating and some other jazz. Some other, um, or prickly skin or something. You might need to, um, uh, lay off the sugar. Let me see. Yeah, there's Venus at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody here wants... <laughs> Or there's someone here that wants to have a good time with you, or like I was saying before, somebody wants you to remember the good times or the pleasure that you had with each other, okay? This is someone here who's doing this um, in order to control you or control your life or an outcome of something. You guys could be, uh, you guys could, well, I was going to say you guys could be leaving. I mean, that's not what I was going to say, but that's what came out of my mouth. Um, you guys could be, um, dealing with or leaving a Libra or a Taurus. Or you're a Libra and a Taurus. Someone's coming towards you. Don't have to be, though. Let me answer this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do I need to hear? I need to hear it this time, spirit. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, this could be talking about the matters of love here. Somebody wants you to be fucking naive. We have with the trust of a child. I'm also getting like maybe you feel like you can't trust your child around this person. That's for some of you, not all y'all. But I'm also kind of feeling like someone wants you to be... Somebody wants you to be just as, like, have the trust like a child. Like a child would trust someone, like, blindly. Does that make sense? I don't know. Something about your ascension. Maybe this is someone here that's trying to stop you from fully ascending here. I'm also getting, like, somebody wants to go where you're going. They want to get in your hot air balloon. They want you to share what you have. That's another thing that I'm getting. Or someone wants to share their life with you. Or that's what someone might come in and say. But I really feel like this is someone who's in their south zone. Yeah, this is this is someone here that you had to, you already freed yourself from. R remember that I could be speaking about a business partnership, a friendship, or an ex-partner. Okay? This is someone who wants to try to keep you binded to them. And this is someone here who is also trying to spiritually monitor you. I feel like this person is losing a grip on you. And this is why they're going to finally come in. Maybe someone's realizing, like, especially if this is someone here who's, like, doing mantras in order to try to, like, make you come to them. They're realizing that they're not, it's not working. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what, uh, what zodiac signs are involved in this situation? What zodiac signs are involved in this situation? What do they need to hear at this time? What zodiac? Something about crows. You guys could be seeing a lot of crows at this time. Okay. Or you're seeing a lot of crow symbolism or ravens. Okay. We have cancer. Somebody here could be a cancer. Or they could have cancer somewhere in their chart. It's really, it's really important for you to use your intuition at this time. Okay? Because there's someone here that's um, wanting you to repeat history. Okay? We have, um, or have you be stuck in the past. We have Scorpio. Someone here could be a Scorpio. Or they could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart. Yeah. Someone here wants to resurrect, resurrect something from the past. This, is, this could be a relationship that's already over and done with, okay? It's like someone wants you to stir up 
feelings, romantic feelings. Or someone's upset because you no longer have romantic feelings towards them. Or, or, mm. We have Sagittarius. You guys could be dealing with a Sag or someone who has Sag somewhere in their chart. All right. We got Aquarius. Someone here could be an Aquarius or they could have Aquarius somewhere in their chart. I feel like somebody in the past was playing a lot of games with you. Okay. Capricorn. Somebody here could be a Capricorn. Someone here could be a Capricorn or they can have Capricorn somewhere in their chart. Someone here could be a Libra or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Um... Hmm. And someone here could be a Libra, uh, not Libra, a Virgo, or they could have Virgo somewhere in their chart, or they're a, uh, um, a Virgo, Libra, cusp. Hmm. Someone knows you're about to find out a secret. Also getting like someone doesn't want you to remember something. Someone here could be overthinking how they're gonna come in and approach you as well. <sighs> like someone knows that they can't manipulate you or something, something like that. Okay. Before I forget. Okay, I'm going to be giving away decks all of February. Maybe it might even bleed into March, but um, where's that gosh dang deck? Where are that? Where it is, ho? It's right here. So I'm going to be giving away this deck here. And I'm going to be making these announcements in not just the these, whatever it's for readings, but also for like Zodiac signs. So just be mindful of that. This deck I'm going to be giving away to a lucky winner who leaves a comment in the comment section. All right. Um, what do I want it to be? <laughs> um, you could say... You could write, I am love, right? I am love, okay? Ooh. We have no river can return to its source, yet all rivers must have a beginning. So this is the card that just flew out. All right. And then I'm going to announce the winner in the next, um, in the next three days from now. Okay. To give everyone a fighting chance. What's going on with this energy spirit? Yeah, someone's preparing to come towards you. They're finally ready to go after you. They want to be in a relationship. It's like someone keeps looking over at you. And someone's upset because you're not paying them any attention. Maybe this is someone that you were, like, all up on their... <laughs> you were, like, all up on them. And you're not no more. This could have been... This could be a long time coming. Or maybe you haven't even been thinking about this person for a long time, but like you cut some sort of energetic cord and this person feels it.
someone wants to go back to the beginning of something when it comes to your guys' relationship, we have Divine Light at the bottom of the deck, number 33. You guys can be seeing that number a lot. It says, the light of the divine love is shining through you and in your life right now. I also feel like this is a reason why someone is, a, is um, attracted to you right now. Or this is why you're attracting something. Yeah, you could be in alignment, whoever I'm speaking to. You could be born February 12th. All right. What's coming up? February 12th or something about that date is significant. All right. So, um, so you could be an Aquarius or I could be talking to someone who's a Sagittarius. You could be born December 2nd. I'm also getting like you're ready to go after or it's time for you to get ready. The time is now for you to step in, step up and lean and do what you really want to do. Okay. I'm also getting this could be like with that song come and get your love it's almost like the divine is telling you like you're ready for love now maybe you guys could be afraid of it you need to know that it's safe for you to love because some sort of cycle is done like whoever I'm speaking to you're vibrating at a frequency that matches your soul's intention so you're going to be attracting just that, especially when it comes to love. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Yeah, we got vulnerability. I feel like this is loud as balls. Give me a second. <laughs> we have vulnerability. It says being vulnerable is the only way your heart will feel true pleasure. Okay. We have fears, worry, exposed, fragile. Mm, some of you going to be getting something here. Someone here could be born in 1977. Someone here knows that they have to come in and be vulnerable in order to begin something new with you. If like someone knows they have to come in and be, they have to tell you. You're, uh, someone here knows they have to come in and tell you how they feel. Maybe this makes someone feel vulnerable. Maybe this person feels like this is something that someone could be scared of doing. They don't want to like they feel exposed. But that's the only way this relationship is going to work if it if this is what you want. I don't know. But I feel like this could have been a lesson that somebody was supposed to learn was to like be vulnerable. A lesson in vulnerability, but they didn't do it. Or maybe somebody ran out of time to do it. Something about pampers. Maybe somebody here has a child. I know this sounds random, but I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Or maybe someone here is acting like a child. Something about children. We have climb up the ladder. It says you're climbing the ladder of success one step at a time. Promotion, more success, improvement, raise. I also feel like someone here wants to bring a relationship to another level. I'm also getting like someone may fear that like you're going to outgrow them or you're going to like not want to deal with them. Like this could be someone here who's afraid to come in and tell you how they feel or um, maybe this person feels like you're gonna want someone better than them or I don't know someone doesn't feel worthy of you it's the vibe we have um or vice versa you don't feel worthy of someone else I don't flip it where it needs to go we have if we wonder often the gift of knowledge will come someone thinks about you a lot or some of you need to um sit in meditation and ask yourselves who the hell is this person Or who am I? You know? Let's see. Because if you're not... Never mind. Let me be quiet. Or maybe this is what this person is doing. Yeah, we got Leo. There could be a Leo out here that's afraid to be vulnerable. Maybe they, they fear... Um, they fear being vulnerable, basically. Karmic. Jesus. This could be a karmic Leo. They wish things could go back to how they were in the past. Like at the beginning. I feel like this is someone that you haven't spoken to in years. Whoever I'll speak to. It's like they're ready to do it now, but it's like way too fucking late. And now if they come in, 
It's like it looks like they just want to join you on this like climb that you have that's up the ladder. I don't know. Seems weird to me. Um, tell me more. Yeah. There's also some sort of new connection here. Maybe someone's in fear that you have a new connection. We got false flame. So for some of you, you may have a new con a new connection that's coming in that is a Leo that is a false flame. That's for some of you. Or I'm speaking to a Leo and this is your message to watch out for a new connection that could be a false flame. Or whoever I'm speaking to, you're going, someone here is going to get exposed. Some sort of false flame here. Or there's a false flame here that is upset or does not want you to have a new connection. Virgo. Someone here could be a Leo, Virgo, cusp. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rat. Note the date. This could be you or them. Flip over needs to go. I'm also looking at it as like a Leo could be a new connection. And a Virgo could be a false flame. We have Aquarius. Someone here could be an Aquarius or they could have Aquarius somewhere in their chart. I'm also getting like someone's overanalyzing something here or someone here is trying to overanalyze you. This could be a false flame that's doing this. There's a false flame that wants to come in and heal something with you. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit. Note the date. This could be you or them. Flip it where it needs to go. Tell me more, spirit. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey. This could be you or them. Flip it where it needs to go and then we have Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck so someone here could be a Sagittarius or they could have Sag somewhere in their chart okay so I feel like the same old same old two people you got a false flame and then you got a new connection coming in I feel like one could be good for you the other one is you already know is wrong <laughs> you already know because of the the experiences that you went through this is somebody's story not everyone's story okay so just keep that in mind Listen, vulnerability is an act of bravery. It's an act of courage. Learning to love again after betrayal is also an act of courage. It's an act of bravery. I'm also getting something about like, you got to start somewhere. Nothing changes unless you make change. You change something. Can they trust this new connection? Okay. Can they trust... Uh, what was it? Monkey, Aquarius, False Flame, Zero, Rabbit, New Connection, Leo. Can they trust? Oh, come on now. Can they trust the Leo? Okay, so <laughs> I asked if you can trust the Leo, and then it says something better is coming. So that's what we got going on with the Leo, or the person who has Leo somewhere in their chart, or the person that might come in and be vulnerable with you. I feel like this is a lesson for this person to learn. The, if the Virgo wants to come towards you, it will bring um, new opportunities. Okay. Can they trust the new connection? So you can trust some sort of new connect new connection that's coming in. Okay. I almost want to say Connecticut. 
someone here could be from Connecticut or this person could be from Connecticut. Can they trust this rabbit? This person has a Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit spirit. Okay, so whoever has the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit, you're being asked to not commit at this time with this individual. Can they trust this false flame? This false flame wants fear to stop you from moving on and from loving again. What do we have, Aquarius? Can they trust this Aquarius? You can trust some sort of Aquarius, I guess. That's for some of you. Or Aquarius, this message is for you. Yes, it's a great idea to trust somebody here. Let's see. Can they trust this monkey? Person with a Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey. Dang. Wait and see what happens. Ship your, shift your focus. So this could be a message for someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey, but the bottom of the deck does say don't waste the time. So I don't know, child. What about this Sag? Can they trust the Sagittarius? <laughs> so the Sag, it says, it depends. And then it says, what have you got to lose so i don't know or i'm talking to a sag and if this uh that this um situation resonates with so let's find out what's going on at three in the morning should we use these or should we use these I feel like whatever action someone's about to take it's a little too late or something here or it's supposed to be this way yeah we got capricorn here there could be a capricorn here that has you stuck in a jar or there are someone here in devil like energy trying to keep you stuck in a jar confined or trying to trap someone's soul i don't know or there's someone here that wants you to fill up their cup because they feel like you over here overflowing with your cup. It's because you love yourself. You guys could be seeing the angel number 44 a lot. All right. Someone could see you as someone who's very classy. Okay. Or you could be very classy. You could be um, a jack of all trades. You could have, um, you could be multi talented. Right? You could be good at a lot of things naturally. You could be someone who's very creative. You could be very inventive, ambitious. You could be a team player. You could be very loyal and hardworking. All right. Um, you could do someone who you could be someone who's very graceful. Um, I feel like there's someone here that wants you to help them get out of some sort of sticky situation. That's why they're coming to you. This person could have a lot of pride because they don't want to... This person is resulting to, like, trying to use magic and manipulation, energy manipulation, in order to, like, make you come to them. It's giving me a little bit of, like, coward energy. Someone here might try to ask you for money. You need to know that you got riches and prosperity that's coming your way. You're being asked to get prepared for your future and start saving finances as well or somebody wants to know how much money you have saved they could be obsessed about finding this out or this person might be coming in and asking you a bunch of questions about your finances this would be this is a red flag or this will be a confirmation if this is something that's already taken place of who this person is or this is going to be confirmation of who this person is when they do it um What's up at 3 a.m.? Someone's analyzing, analyzing you closely at 3 a.m. We have telescope. <laughs> like someone's trying to view you from a far distance. Like how you would with a telescope to the stars. You're being asked to be optimistic. 
somebody wants to find out like why you're so peaceful this is this is another reason why someone could be doing this someone wants to understand or to check to see if you really have a a, a content attitude or not or <laughs> i don't know bro somebody being nosy as hell someone wants a peek to find out like how you're able to remove difficulties maybe these are difficulties that they're sending you this is someone who likes to be in control or this is someone here who's trying to control an outcome in your life someone doesn't understand how you keep finding solutions all right oh the or the way you you get out of situations sticky situations is by removing what no longer serves you i also feel like whoever i'm speaking to you're about to get some sort of um fresh start here some of you could be doing the dishes i don't know child holy spirit holy angels can you tell me what's going on here yeah we got saturn Someone's trying to decide if you're really disciplined or responsible. I don't know. I'm just annoyed. I'm annoyed by someone's nosiness. Why do we have, um, or somebody didn't think you were as responsible or disciplined like you say you are. Someone didn't, someone wants to find out like how you learned some sort of life lesson. <laughs> I don't know. Like this, this could be somebody who hasn't, this could be a karmic ass motherfucker that hasn't learned a karmic lesson. That's obsessed with you more or something like that obsessed with someone if it ain't you it's somebody else yeah this is a secret admirer that's a karmic that's obsessed with you they could even have a locket with your fucking picture in it child i don't know or they're doing something with your picture someone's birthday could be on the seventh or you could be a life past seven someone here could be 57 years old someone here could be 28 or you could be born on the 28th of a month something about the leap year 28 days in a month someone wants you to be open to their love whoever this obsessed karmic individual is this could have been someone you were in a long-term relationship with or this is someone here that wants to be in a long-term relationship with you they could be thinking about um all types of memories you guys once had somebody wants to achieve your somebody wants to achieve dreams with you or something someone's carefully planning something i don't know it's like someone wants to put you in a box whatever this is i feel like it's gonna restrict you like it's not gonna whoever this person is it's like they want to keep you to themselves you it keeps saying you got many you got many riches coming your way and this could be another reason why someone's obsessed with you is because they don't really maybe this is someone here that's maybe this is someone who's not here to who actually loves you this could be someone here who just wants what you have Or someone wants you to help them get where you're at. I don't know. Somebody wants you to teach them how they can learn lessons or achieve some sort of dream. I'm... spirit holy angels what's going on here like someone is really fucking watching you holy, holy spirit holy angels what's going on what's going on with this person coming in someone here could be losing sleep yeah so something here about 3 a.m 
person is worried. They're replaying memories from the past, okay? They think they keep thinking um, over and over again about some sort of events that happened or thoughts about you. This is how this person's feeling. They also are feeling fed up. What is this person fed up about? The way I just inhaled felt like very like stressful. So like someone here is really stressing over you. Like a stressful inhale. Like a frustrated. <laughs> Why do we have fed up? Why is this person fed up? They're fed up because they can't find... They they, they exhausted all their options. Like someone here does, is running out of ideas or something on how to get you to come to them. Someone here has a lot of secret accounts. We have secret accounts at the bottom of the deck. Maybe someone here is trying to get your attention, your attention any way possible. Even if that means like um, them trying to get your attention in a negative way by like saying fucked up shit. Like under your pictures and Instagram or um, under your Twitter posts or YouTube or TikTok, whatever it is, okay? Someone's fed up by the fact that your hopes and your wishes are coming true and that you're going to have, you're about to reach your destiny. Something about the stars. Someone's upset because you out here reaching for the stars. Someone here wanted to, um, maybe somebody wants you to, to get, wanted you to give up on your own destiny. Somebody didn't want you to give up on, somebody wanted you to give up on your talent so it could affect your stability or your fucking life, okay? I'm also getting like somebody here wanted you to get your sleep disrupted as well. And now they're getting their sleep disrupted, disrupted, okay? Someone's also fed up because you continue to keep healing. And you continue to gain some sort of success. And you continue to climb the ladder, alright? This is a snake who's upset about this. This is a false person. This is one of your rivals. This is someone who is very jealous of you, trying to go around and poison everyone's mind about you, and they're realizing it's not working. Um, this snake could also represent the other woman or the other man, flip it where it needs to go, that wants the same person that wants you, okay? You may not want that person. <laughs> you may want that person. It all depends on your situation, okay? But someone feels like giving up because you just keep succeeding. Who is this person that's fed up, spirit? And then snake comes out again. So this person could be a snake that's fed up or someone's fed up with someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of a snake that keeps winning. Tell me more, spirit. Who's fed up? Rooster. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster that's fed up with you. Okay. Or vice versa. This is someone here that is upset because they've been trying to do this for a very long time and it's not working. Or you've known this person for a very long time. We got mirror. You and this person could be mirroring mirroring each other's behavior. Or this person could be trying to look or scry through a mirror to figure out what you got going on. Maybe someone's using a mirror like a telescope. To spy on you. Okay. We got tiger. Someone's Chinese zodiac sign could be a tiger. Note the date. This could be you or someone else. I could be talking to a feminine energy that um, this person is spying on or this is a feminine energy that's doing this to you. Okay. That has these secret bank accounts. Yeah, whoever's losing sleep is karmic as fuck. This could have been a friend of y'all's. Someone that you once trusted. Okay. This could be a nurse. Or you're a nurse. Place where it needs to go. Or someone's upset because you're reliable and trustworthy. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> or someone's upset because someone still trusts you. 
Someone has someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dog. Someone here could be a Virgo. Yeah, we got rejected. Somebody here wanted you to feel rejected. Or somebody wanted you to reject your destiny, but it's not happening. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of shocking news that's coming in. Yeah, someone here is going through some sort of ego death. Or someone here really wanted to cause some sort of chaos in your life. Yeah, there's a woman here that wanted to create a lot of drama. There's a woman that wanted to create a lot of drama or there was a woman that or that you're the woman and someone wanted to create a lot of drama with you, okay? Because you rejected them. Okay? Someone here wants to fight you. I'm also getting like this could be a woman that wants to fight you because they were rejected and the person that rejected them wants you, okay? Some, this could be the same person that's trying to do um, throat chakra magic on you. Someone who wants to have you shut the fuck up. Because you're telling too much of the truth about them. Because they're karmic. Yeah, there's some sort of secret that's going to be revealed here. That's going to be shocking. About some sort of wealth, money, income, cash. Or the shocking news could be about how deep someone's feelings are for you. And they're going to come in and they're going to be vulnerable. Now, it's up to you to use your intuition on whether you want to be with this person or not. That's going to come in with that, okay? But it might come to you as a, sh a shock about some sort of wealth and some sort of houses. A wealth and a property or about a family, okay? Some of you could have been left a small business. I don't know. Some sort of something. It's gonna it's gonna come at a shout. <sighs> what is this? Who's going through this spiritual awakening? This downward spiral spirit. Who's going through this shit? This could be a Sagittarius who's going through an ego death, or someone who has Saggy somewhere in their chart, or someone starting to um have wisdom here, or newfound wisdom we got my way it says selfish stubborn arrogant pride and ego so whoever this person is they did not want to let up when it came to trying to stop you from achieving your hopes your wishes and fulfilling your destiny someone was trying their best to stop you from healing as well someone was preying on your downfall i'm also getting someone here was trying to make you lose lose faith Okay. Tell me more. Why do you have more this could be the person that wants to come in and offer you some flowers. I don't know. Or they want to come and give you a gift. I don't like the vibe. Someone might want to come in and be charming. What the fuck is this? Who's this person that want to come in and put on the charm? A Capricorn. So this could be a Capricorn or someone who has Capricorn somewhere in their chart that wants to come in and um, come give you some, bear some gifts, basically. Come in bearing gifts. Try to charm you, try to love bomb you. This could be a Capricorn. Or, I'm talking to a Capricorn this is going to be happening to you, okay? Flip it where needs to go. Who the hell is coming in with the charm there could be a feminine energy okay that's gonna do this is gonna come in with some sort of love bombing tactic all right or i'm speaking to a feminine energy that this is gonna be happening to someone here could be the uh someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of a rooster note the date goat someone here can have the chinese zodiac sign of a goat okay Yeah, because someone was reject 
because somebody was rejected, okay, they're going to get some sort of karma. I'm also getting like, this is someone's karma to be rejected by you. This could have been someone who rejected you before or whatever the fuck, betrayed you in the past. Someone's going to experience some sort of ending or loss or some sort of me mental breakdown because tw two, two people are coming together. Twin flames are coming together. This is why someone's losing their fucking shit. Come and get your love. Someone's unemployed. Or someone has some sort of bad credit. Or someone here's in debt. Maybe that's why someone wants to come in and ask you for money. This could be a family member. So if you if you follow the storyline or if it resonates to you, that uh, secret about hidden money or a property, if that storyline resonates with you, you might have a family member or um, somebody here come and ask you... Maybe they're going to come in with some sort of fake sob story and try to get you to help them out of debt or help you pay for their debt. Child, I don't know. <sighs> or you paid for your karmic debt. Or someone wants you to feel indebted to them. Also, if you're experiencing unemployment at this time, first off, um, I know it sucks, but there's a lot of layoffs that could be happening right now or, or that you could be seeing, right? Um, like on social media and stuff. Sometimes those layoffs happen for a reason. They're probably for your better betterment. Okay, there's something here about like utilizing your time wisely or finding the lesson in it, right? Like maybe this is an opportunity for you to find out who you are and what you really want to do with your time. How you really like what you really want to do for a career. Or do what you're really like try to or try to find a way you can use your talent in order to financially support yourself because that talent was given to you by from birth from the divine from god your checks would come from god and god's checks never bounce okay someone need to hear that um why do we have fire storm that's why I always encourage people to go after what their heart truly desires when it comes to like their careers or what they want to do in life. Yeah, there's a man here that could be going through some drama because you rejected them. They could be going through a mental breakdown. This man could be suffering or going through some sort of burden or sorrow or grief. And they want you to help them out of this. This could be your own damn twin flame. That's for some of you, not all y'all. This person... Or this is what someone was dealing with for a long time. And now they... They've, they've got some sort of clarity. Or they've gone through some sort of ego death here. And they're seeing something clearly. They're seeing you clearly. This person wants to travel towards you. Yeah, you might be receiving some sort of message from this person. Or this person wants to bring you some sort of paperwork. I don't know. Tell me more spirit. What's going on here? Or someone needs their bills paid. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Someone feels like they could be stable with you or they want to come towards you because they know that you're stable. Or something about their family. Or your family. Or something about a child. Or someone wants to have a new beginning with you. Or this is like drama for someone else because someone wants to start their a family with you or they want to start a new beginning with you or someone wants to have a stable life, a new, a fresh start with you. I don't know. Listen, y'all. There's a weird karmic in here somewhere. This, I, 
The karma could be your ex, and he's a weirdo, and he's coming back to try to ask you to be with him again. Or um, this could be an ex of yours who went through an ego death, and they now know they want to be with you. This could be your twin flame, and they're dealing with the karmic, and they're trying to get out of that situation. But that they could be dealing with a crazy bitch or a crazy dude that doesn't want to let them go. It's causing a lot of drama. It's like they're waiting until the coast is clear so they can come towards you. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. But it's all in the name of love. Okay. Let's get our big bird though. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain outside, but it's like soothing. <laughs> Let me turn this down. You hear it? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? What do they need to hear? Ooh. Stealing from the job. So somebody here could have gotten fired because they were stealing from the job. Maybe that's why they're unemployed. We have train wreck, or this is something that's going to soon happen. Like someone's going to steal from the job and they're going to get caught. Okay. Maybe someone here took cash out the register. We have um, train wreck. Someone's life is about to be a train wreck, because, train wreck because they wanted your life to be a train wreck. We have Belle. Okay. We have Belle from Beauty and the Beast. She truly is a funny girl, that Belle. Bonjour. <laughs> We have South Node, okay? Someone here could be in their South Node who was stealing from their job, okay? Or they were stealing at your job, or they were stealing from your job. We have Tortoise. Someone here could be a Tortoise, or they could have Tortoise somewhere in their chart, okay? Or someone, something here is moving very slowly for someone. We have Moving Out of State, or someone here has a pet Tortoise. Someone here is Moving Out of State. This could be you or someone else. Someone here has a very loud laugh, okay? Tell me more. We have loan approved. <laughs> I just heard a, uh, what's that character from uh, The Simpsons where he's like, ha ha. <laughs> I don't know. Someone's laughing. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you're a self-made success story. It's like someone here is trying to cause a train wreck with what you got going on, but you worked very, like, it took, it took time for you to get to this success here. And that's why it's solid because you did everything the right way. You had patience. Someone's trying to destroy this and they can't. I'm also getting... Whatever you're doing, it's part of your destiny, and that's why it can't be taken from you. We have telling people you are doing black magic. So someone here was telling people that you're doing black magic. This, this could have been the karmic. This could have been your karmic ex or your twin flames ex or your twin flames whatever. Family member, your family members. Flip it where it needs to go. A friend of yours. They're friends of theirs. Okay, we have laugh now, cry later. So... Someone here could have been laughing at you in the past because they thought you were weird. You weren't like the rest. And now they're going to be crying. Someone here might come in and ask you for a hot plate. We got food shortage. Someone here could be on EBT or they need to get EBT. No shame in the game, child. I'm not clowning on no one who's had EBT. I've had EBT before. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have Envy. There's someone here that envies you. All right. Someone might ask you for a loan or ask you to loan money. This is someone in their south node. They want to steal from you or something. Or there was someone here who was stealing, stealing your work or something. This is someone who envies you. We have Destiny's Child. I'm a survivor. You're a survivor. Someone didn't think you were going to survive something here. Fake friend. This could be a, a fake friend that's envious, envious of you. Or this is a fake friend that was laughing at you behind your back. Maybe talking shit to other people about you but smiling in your face. This person's about to cry. Because they're getting. They're, this person could be getting caught on camera. I got you. 
I got you on candid camera now. <laughs> somebody getting caught. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. There's evidence on somebody um, taking something from you. We have people that you cut off will try to reach out to you. Okay. You and another person may have an age gap. You and another person. One person could be older than you. The other person could be younger than you by a couple years or something. We got 1144. Okay, you guys could be seeing this number on the clock. If you are, please look it up. We have sister's friend. Something about your sister's friend could be significant. Someone here could talk with a lisp. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what the heck is going on? We have boss bitch. Someone's envious of you because you're a boss bitch. And you've done everything by yourself. Someone here wanted you to uh, ask for help from them, but you didn't. Okay, so now someone feels jaded. They feel like they can't... Um, like they don't want to clap for you because they weren't they didn't have a hand to play in it or they don't they can't they don't have the right to um they know they can't take credit for something that you've built okay astral travel someone here could be definitely be astral traveling to you at night this is someone who's obsessed with you this could be someone who was trying to cipher off energy from you from 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 your chakra chakra your third eye whatever it is okay this is someone here that could have been trying to steal energy or steal information from you while you're sleeping. Because someone knows that you have um, a lot of prosperity and good things coming to you. Someone here could have done something like this to you, a spiritual one or a real one, to harm you. You survived something here. This person's mad. We got a funny person. You could be a funny person. Okay, or someone else thinks you're a funny person. Tell me more, spirit, what's going on? Yeah, there's someone here that regrets that they left you. They want to come in and they want to ask for forgiveness. We have ants, okay? You guys could be seeing a lot of ants, or you're going to find out who was all collaborating together in order to steal from you or because or that stole from you. They're all anxious right now. I'm also getting all these people that were involved from stealing from you. They want to come in and ask you for your forgiveness or to reconsider something reconsider um maybe even taking them to court or pressing charges we have private investigator is crooked okay there was a private investigator that hired someone to harm you or the private investigator was hired to harm you something about a side chick i don't know maybe someone was saying you were a side chick neighborhood is gossiping someone was gossiping maybe they were saying you were a side chick I don't know or something about an angry karmic side chick we have the devil has a soft voice something about someone's soft voice pay attention to it we have hateful baby mama there could be a, somebody's hateful baby mama that's upset and envious of you because you're a boss bitch and this bitch collects checks like from the government i don't know <laughs> listen <laughs> let me be nice Someone's mad because you you get it on your own, okay? Someone could be upset because you have talent and you you invested in yourself while someone else... Never mind. Let me not be mean. We got uh, evil eye, okay? Someone here is definitely giving you the evil eye. Tell me more spirit. We got pay attention to their undertones. So you're being asked to pay attention to someone's undertone when they come towards you. Read between the lines of what they're saying to you we got 666 child you're being asked to be careful of your thoughts and your actions at this time and yeah also some sort of balance and harmony is going to be made in your life here i feel like Something about this could be significant. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We got a coworker is threatened by your work ethic. So you got a coworker here that's very threatened by your work ethic here. Somebody here has no regret for crime or for a crime here. One year. Somebody could have been doing something for one year. And now they got to pay. Things have to be balanced out. This could have been an ex of yours or someone here who has um, the first middle or last name of an ex that was doing this. Someone here could be a sex addict. <sighs> Tell me more, spirit. What the hell? Come on. 
We have pay attention to your dreams. You're being asked to pay attention to your dreams at this time. Okay. You've already seen the person who's been astral traveling to cipher off energy from you. You've already seen them in your dream. They've been doing this for a whole year. We have dirty money. There's something about stolen money here. Somebody stole from you. It's being exposed. We have loud laugh again. We have hawk. Somebody here thought they got away with something, but they did not. They were seen by the divine. We have If It Ain't Six Feet, It Ain't That Deep by Cal Scrubby. Someone here is throwing an adult tantrum. Someone's acting like a fucking child. Or somebody was acting like a fucking child. They're, people are going to see this, or this person is now realizing they were acting like a child. Someone here is about to get sentenced to five to ten years for trying to do something heinous to you, doing something cruel as fuck. Trying to treat you like a fucking animal. Tell me more, spirit. What the hell is going on? What else do I need to hear? We have post, post Malone, I fall apart. So someone here could be drinking and thinking about you and crying about you. Someone here could be missing your guys' relationship. Thinking about memories about y'all. But this is someone who's in their south node. This is someone who has not healed themselves. This is someone who probably isn't even taking accountability of the part that they played in some sort of situation with you. This is someone that's unwilling to learn some sort of karmic lesson. All right, we got 999. You're about to begin again, and a karmic cycle is complete, and this is another reason why someone is sad. You guys could have a codependent friend that you need to end some sort of karmic cycle with. Who's this codependent friend? And then it came out, friend, friend, acquaintance, or coworker. You need to end a karmic cycle with. Or maybe you already did. This codependent friend could be a Leo, or they could have Leo somewhere in their chart. Or I'm talking to a Leo that needs to end some sort of karmic cycle here that they have with some sort of friend, or coworker, or acquaintance. Because this person's in on doing something here when it comes to a private investigator. Um. Or they're about to take the fall for being sentenced to five to ten years or something. Or someone was trying to get you locked up to, for five or ten years. Who is this hired hitman? A hired hitman is a new connection, child. So be careful. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a horse, note the date, or this could be you. Your family or an ex or a family and your family and your ex could have been the ones who did this or planned this, hired some sort of person to take you out. Who is this who is this coworker that's threatened by your work ethic? So there's an Aries here that is threatened by your work ethic that also could be involved in doing something like this to you. Or you're an Aries. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a pig. That is a that that is your coworker that is threatened by your work ethic. Okay. These people are scared. They know something bad is coming through. We got Leo. There could be a Leo here as well. That's your coworker that is threatened by your work ethic. And then we have family or past connection. You could work with family, or you could work with your ex, child. Flip or needs to go. Or they or your coworker worked with your family or your ex in order to try to get uh take you down in some way. Oh, Lord have mercy. What else they need to hear? Holy Spirit, holy angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear? We have unwanted watcher. What was I telling y'all? Someone's watching you. They're watching you from afar. Someone here keeps trying to keep up with you through a, through a fake account. Ciao. Who is this unwanted watcher? This person is a rat. Or they have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rat. This is the unwanted watcher. Or this is someone who's like a rat. Like a rodent that comes into your home. Scurries around. Spies on you and shit. Tell me more unwanted wanter, child. Taurus. Okay, this could be a Taurus that's an unwanted watcher. 
Okay, or this is happening to a Taurus child. Or someone here wants to figure out, they're looking at your money or something to see if you're stable. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why do we have unwanted water? Soulmate. This could be a soulmate of yours that's an unwanted watcher. We have nearby. This could be someone who's nearby you. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me more, Spirit. Unwanted watcher unwanted watcher we have goat someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of a goat this could be someone that wants to come in and act like they nurture and support you but they they have fake accounts this could be a friend an acquaintance or a co-worker tell me more spirit come on now Fake news. Always making up something new. Don't allow their fake tears or smile to fool you. So someone here is going to come in with some sort of fake sob story crying in order to manipulate you in some way so you can feel bad for them. Or this could be somebody here who's going to come in and fake smile with you. Try to put on the charm. Trying to congratulate you and shit. This person doesn't mean you well. Okay. We have clout chaser. There's someone here that's doing anything for clout. It says they will do anything to get some sort of attention, even if it's negative. Someone just wants your attention. This person could even try to um, try to place fear within you. So this could be someone who's leaving like threatening messages as well. They just want a reaction. Do not feed them. Do not give them a reaction. Okay. This is someone who who needs your energy to survive we have fool they will humiliate themselves so someone here is going to humiliate themselves whoever this unwanted watcher is all right we have op it says an enemy is wanting to get close with you to gain something against you okay someone here someone here was like paid or persuaded to do this someone i don't know someone you got a fucking op we have end it it says send love and light it will disrupt their whole world because they are used to negativity whoever this clout chaser is okay and it says conversation starter. It says they always need to check up on you for new ideas. So this could be someone who's stealing from you on the job. This is someone who lacks creativity. They need to they need inspiration. <laughs> and they get it from you. When they could get it from within, they can get it from God. That's sad. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what's going on? What else do they need to hear? About this situation so someone here gonna get locked up whoever this envious motherfucker is and it could be a couple of people okay sounds like your family members involved in this situation for some of you your family members could be involved in this situation okay um there could be a fake ass friend that is also involved in this situation could be an, a karmic ex of yours that could be in this situation or even a twin flame um for some of you okay or somebody's your ex's ex for some of y'all okay could be involved in this situation or your ex's sister or your sister or your brother or their brother flip it where it needs to go there's a lot of things here and they're all trying to stop you from ascending that's all this really is okay there there's a lot of people who are in debt Okay, and the word checks keep coming out. Maybe someone was trying to uh, take out a loan in your name. Maybe they can't cash that check or that loan or they can't. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe someone here. They did something. Tell me more. What do we need here? We have underestimated. Somebody here definitely underestimated you for show. Sure. Someone didn't think you were going to survive something here, but you did. Okay? Because you're a Jesus descendant. That's why. Tell me more, spirit. Ooh, now it's getting cold in my room. We have time to shine. It's your time to fucking shine. It's your time. Someone wants to dim your light. Somebody wants... Somebody wants to put out your light. We have wake up. Someone here is having some sort of wake up call. Or someone's going through some sort of ego death. Because they're realizing who the fuck you is. 
they done fucked with the wrong one we have generational curse breaker that's who you could be or you could have broke some sort of generational curse in your family or you're about to when it comes to this cycle this karmic cycle closing it says not only are you a miracle one is on its way to you you guys really need to pay attention to your dreams at this time okay we have lucid dreams here there's definitely going to be a message in there somewhere for you okay child i don't even know if this is like a twin flame reading or not but <laughs> holy spirit holy angels what else do they need here Someone here could be having legal trouble, troubles and they're in sorrow, but this is some sort of karma here. Or someone's in sorrow because they know they're about to be in legal troubles because they stole something from you. You're going to be getting informed of this. You might be getting a formal letter in the mail, so check your mailbox, okay, or some sort of important email notifications or alerts or some sort of phone call that might be coming in telling you about this someone here is stressed out because they know they might be going to fucking prison this could be an old ass lady that's going to prison that's for some of you don't have to be okay or you could be this old lady flip it where it needs to go but we have good lady says older female counselor mother figure strong well-educated blah 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 okay you could be f viewed in this way Or somebody thought this older woman was a good person and they're not. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We have sad news. Someone here is about to get some sort of sad news from court if they haven't already. Something about the 14th could be significant. All right. Someone is dis is experiencing some sort of disappointment or setback or going through some sort of depression or illness. Okay. Because of some sort of decision they made in the past. All right. I'm also getting someone wants to come to you and tell you something here was a misunderstanding. But you're going to get some unexpected money. This is the reason why somebody's sad. I'm also getting if you're in sadness or you're unemployed, just know that you might be getting some unexpected income, child. This unexpected income could be coming from some sort of court thing that you may not be aware of. Or maybe you are. Or maybe this is something that's coming from the divine. So this, could, this, this unexpected money could be coming from... Um, a complete stranger i don't know or from a child or something that was left to you as a child because you see how this man has grown in this picture and then this little boy is here so maybe you were left something as a child and now you're gonna receive it as a grown a grown man i don't know or woman flip it where it needs to go something like that could be significant or you were born to have abundance it says general generational wealth here. So it's like, since you broke some sort of generational curse, you're going to be blessed with some sort of generational wealth. That's for some of you, not all y'all. And someone's sad about this. Okay. Someone here could be getting some sort of illness. Or someone feels like their life um, is limited now because they're experiencing some sort of Ill illness here. Or someone here might be going to jail while they're sick. This could be someone who's a military person or someone here who had some sort of position of authority. Okay. Or someone here who was trying to be strategic or this could be someone who's in the government that's going to prison child. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We got main mail here. Something about a main mail. Or the authorities know about something here. Okay. Somebody knows that somebody didn't follow the rules and their ass is grass. Okay, I gotta go. This is too long. This is gonna be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to go into the comic sec the com I can't talk. The I can't talk. The comics the comics. Someone here could make comics, I guess. The comment section. Right in the comment section. <laughs> okay. Say I am loved. Or I am lovable, whichever one. And then I'll pick y'all if you want this deck, okay? I got the fresh one right here. I got the fresh one right here, okay? So...
until next time i love you also if you guys want to book a, a reading with me you can go to occultlifestyle.com and check to see if i'm available if i'm not then you guys can um please go to mysticsense.com to book a reading with another talented reader until next time i love you okay bye